Here I am, sitting in front of a stranger, a therapist. She asks me where I've been. The truth, I don't know. I'm lost in my own mind, haunted by the shadows of what I've become. Ever since the accident, my mind's been a battlefield. I see flashes of my crash, and the scar feels like a curse. An ever-present reminder that something is wrong with me. I've got a beautiful family, a roof over my head, but happiness feels distant. There's an emptiness gnawing at me, filling the void with anger and despair. Every drink helps me escape. When the night falls, I drink until my mind goes black, tumbling into the void where I feel nothing. And strangely, that's when I'm happiest. Dr. Halligan pushes me to confront my demons. She knows I'm avoiding the truth. But how can I explain the monsters lurking in my mind? The hallucinations torment me. I thought I was fine, but they creep back, feeding my paranoia. Maybe there really are monsters after all. The night is alive with sounds, but one haunts me. An engine roaring on the highway. It's a reminder of my accident, a sound that sends shivers down my spine. Meanwhile, the FBI's on my trail. Agent Wilmer, a by-the-books guy, is paired with someone who sees the world as a hunting ground for monsters. Trouble is brewing. Then there's Talia. She storms in, fiery and determined, ready to hunt down the supernatural. She's a force of nature, and I can feel the storm gathering around me. As if on cue, he arrives, a man in black, lurking at the edge of innocence. He has an aura of menace, and I can sense that he's not here for friendly reasons. He watches as the kids turn on each other, a smile on his face. He knows chaos well, it's what he thrives on. This town's peace is about to shatter. I tell Dr. Halligan that Roxanne's trying, but I can see the fear in her eyes. I wonder if she'll still love me when the truth about me comes to light. Every night, the dreams come alive, dragging me into a hell of my own making. I wake up screaming, swinging at shadows to escape my own mind. Mornings are no better. The sun might rise, but I'm still trapped in darkness. Each splash of water is a reminder that I can't wash away nightmares. The lines blur between reality and hallucination. Dr. Halligan becomes a monster in my eyes, urging me to confront my pain. Am I losing my grip on reality? I come home to a nightmare. My family's faces twist into horrors, and I'm left reeling, wondering if I'm the real monster. What if I hurt them? In a fit of rage, I lash out at Roxanne. The ring she wears becomes a symbol of trust and betrayal, and I question everything I once believed. Just when I think I've lost everything, the doorbell rings. But am I ready for what's on the other side? Can I handle another layer of chaos? He's here. Zeb. A harbinger of trouble. He knows too much, and the way he looks at Roxanne sends shivers down my spine. What does he want from us? He offers a card, a glimpse into a fate I'm not sure I want. I can feel my instincts screaming, protect them at all costs. But from what? Zeb's words cut deep. He implies that I've lost control of my own life. But the truth is, I don't know who I am anymore. I feel the chains binding me tighter. Just as things escalate, the law intervenes. I don't know whether to feel relieved or more trapped. This chaos is spiraling out of control. He tells me they need me, the spirit of vengeance. My heart races. Could it be that I'm meant for more than this tortured existence? Is there a way out? I stand at a crossroads. To embrace the spirit of vengeance or remain shackled to this fear. What will it cost me? Is this the beginning of the end or a chance for redemption? I can feel it, the call of fire, the spirit waiting to be unleashed. This isn't just about me anymore, it's about protecting my family. 
In this moment, I feel alive, connected to the flames. They whisper secrets, promise power, but I know there's a price to pay. I've embraced the darkness, the spirit of vengeance. This is who I am meant to be, a guardian of the innocent, a nightmare for the wicked. Riding through the night, I feel a new purpose. The fire within me fuels my every move. This town needs a protector, and I'm ready to be that force. I hunt down Zeb, knowing he's a puppet master in this chaos. I need answers, and I won't rest until I get them. I confront Zeb with fire and fury. He thinks he can toy with me, but I've become something more, an unstoppable force. He spills the truth, unraveling a web of deceit. There's a darkness in Hayden Falls, and I'm just a pawn in a game much bigger than I ever imagined. He warns me of the storm approaching, of monsters that will hunt my family. I feel the weight of responsibility settle on my shoulders. I'm no longer running from my fears. I'm charging headfirst into the darkness, ready to confront whatever comes my way. The creatures emerge from the shadows, but I'm ready. The flames dance around me, igniting a power I never thought I'd harness. The battle rages on, fire meeting darkness. I fight with everything I have, channeling my anger into every blow, every burst of flame. With each victory, I feel the burden lifting, but I know this is just the beginning. The darkness will return, and I must be ready. I return home, the weight of battle still heavy on my shoulders. Roxanne's gaze tells me she knows I'm not the same anymore. I take a deep breath, ready to confess. The spirit of vengeance has awakened within me and I can't hide it any longer. Her fear is palpable, but I see the love beneath it. She wants to understand, but how can I explain a darkness that swallows me whole? The news reveals the truth. The darkness is spreading. I can't ignore it any longer. The stakes are higher than ever, and my family is in danger. I find Zeb, the man I once considered a foe. But now we need each other. We're caught in a whirlwind of darkness, and I can't do this alone. We gather intel on the monsters plaguing the town, drawing a map of chaos. Each name, each face, adds weight to my resolve. As Ghost Rider, I feel invincible. The fire within me roars, ready to scorch the darkness threatening my family and my town. The night is ablaze with chaos. I charge into the fray, fire trailing behind me, determined to protect my home and loved ones. Every choice I make has consequences. I can't afford to hesitate. I must put my family's safety above my own fears. I embrace the flames, channeling every ounce of my energy into protecting those I love. I am the flame, and I will not be extinguished. With the dawn comes clarity. I fought back the darkness, but I know this fight is far from over. There are still shadows lurking, waiting to strike. And I am ready for it. I'm Ghost Rider, 